Can you fit your TV in your backpack? Can it change its screen size? The answer is yes to both of those if we're talking about a mini projector. Mini projectors are getting smaller and more affordable, but the question is, are they right for you? In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Vankyo Leisure 3 mini projector. We'll be going over key features, who this product is for, how it compares to the competition, and whether or not the Leisure 3 suits your needs. Stay tuned and let's dive into the video. On the outside, the Vankyo Leisure 3's white plastic rectangular design is nothing special to look at. While there are certain design features we can appreciate, the projector feels and looks a bit like a cheap toy. Measuring just 8 inches on its longest side and weighing in at well under 4 pounds, this projector is definitely portable enough to bring with you during travel and compact enough to use even in smaller spaces like a dorm room, small apartment, or camping. We can see how it's really designed for someone who wants to be able to move their projector around on a whim or take it with them to events. Plus, the Leisure 3 even comes with its own carrying case for better portability, so that makes packing it up even easier. The manufacturer recommends 6.5 feet as the optimal viewing distance, but you can play around with it to suit your needs. As for screen size, this projector can go as small as 32 inches to as large as 170 inches. Remember, we're talking about diagonal screen size measurement from the lower corner to its opposing upper corner. So technically, if we do the math, that's up to a 14-foot TV screen, which is really a small movie screen at that point. But do keep in mind that with the larger throw size, you will lose image quality. Okay, let's get to the main point. How does the picture look? Although the Vankyo Leisure 3 states that it is a projector with full HD 1080p resolution, our first thought was, there is no way this thing is going to project a quality image because it looks like a toy. Surprisingly, the projection was decent with good color and contrast, but we found the bulb to not be very bright, which makes sense since it's only rated to 2200 lux. We weren't really satisfied until we went into the basement and had very little ambient light around us, and being in a dark room seems to be the only way to get a decent projection. Now assuming you will be using it in the dark, then you'll be impressed with the color you do get out of this projector. The only problem is that the focus and sharpness of the image isn't as good as it can be. But, on the other hand, we are talking about a mini projector that sells for under $100, so you can't expect to be able to compare it to high-end models that are hundreds to thousands of dollars. In general, we would say this projector is not suitable for business situations or spaces with a lot of ambient light. The amount of light needed for meeting attendees to take notes and read supplemental materials would be too much. Unless you're able to get the same level of darkness like in a basement or room with no windows, you'll find yourself frustrated with the image quality. As for other types of devices you can connect to the projector, those include DVD players, game consoles, a Chromecast or Amazon Fire Stick, a computer, and so forth. The USB input is what we found most useful. If you format a USB stick with movies, music, or images and insert it into the USB slot, the Vankyo can access folders with a rudimentary file system. By using a low-profile 128GB USB stick, you can easily pack up the Vankyo projector along with about 30 movie files for outdoor viewing, which works great for backyard events or a family camping trip. We found the setup process for the Vankyo Leisure 3 simple and quick. We plugged it in, turned it on, and tested out the VGA and HDMI connections with our laptop. We pressed the auto detect button and our computer screen came right up on the projection surface. You can adjust the kickstand on the bottom of the projector to raise the image higher on your projection surface and easily use the keystone to adjust the image. We didn't have any problem finding the right setting for the keystone. There is a pair of adjustment rings set right behind the lens itself. You might find the focus a little trickier. The lens fits loosely and sometimes wobbles, so you may need to work a bit longer on that. The Vankyo has a 2000 to 1 contrast ratio, while most projectors in this price range only offer a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, so that's one up for the Leisure 3. The fan in the Vankyo is pretty impressive in how quiet it is. You know it's running, but it doesn't really affect the viewing experience and runs cooler than expected. The speaker is located on the back, but it's very small and not very powerful. On the bright side, you can easily connect to external speakers for better sound quality. We assume that most would choose to do that anyways, so this is not that big of a problem. The remote for the Vankyo proved useful at times, but it does not have light up buttons, so since the Vankyo works best in absolute darkness, you will have trouble making out the keys to press. And of course, now we come to the best part of the Vankyo Leisure 3, its under $90 price tag. You will be hard pressed to find a better mini projector at this same price point. Bottom line, the Vankyo Leisure 3 is a good value for its level of quality and a very popular option, mostly because it's so affordable. Currently priced at $89.99, the Vankyo Leisure 3 does what it's supposed to do, but don't expect too much from the viewing experience. Projectors in this price range are definitely for budget home entertainment systems or for occasional use as a novelty, and fun to take on camping trips or maybe play the occasional movie outside after a barbecue or family gathering. Cheap projectors sacrifice brightness, image quality, contrast, and projection size to get their prices so low. We would not recommend the Vankyo Leisure 3 for home use on a regular basis. 
If you want a better quality projector with brighter image, look for something that is 3200 lumens or brighter and with a higher resolution. If you're looking for something with higher quality, we recommend you take a look at the MSC A100. It may be slightly more expensive, but it's 3,500 lumens of brightness, 3,500 to 1 higher contrast ratio, and 1920 by 1200 resolution makes a big difference. That's all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and like the video, consider subscribing. Be sure to check the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing. Till next time, hope you all have a great day.